Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. My name is Madam Ros Azino Windy Cik Lami. Today I would like to share with you a topic on a sex hormone. The objective of this topic, okay, we need to know and understand the sex hormone in male and female. Second is to know or understand the function of this sex hormone. And lastly, to know the clinical uses and adverse effect associated with this hormone. For the overview, the sex hormone is produced by a gonad uh, such as testis and ovary. It is necessary for conception, embryonic maturation, and development of primary and secondary sexual characteristics. Sex hormone is used for therapeutically in replacement therapy, for contraception and in, uh, and in management of monoposal symptom. And lastly, sex hormone is synthesized from the cholesterol. Okay, this diagram shows the biosynthesis of a female and male sex hormone. Okay, it starts from the cholesterol and it can set, uh, and from the cholesterol it can be uh, synthesized into uh, many types of the sex hormone. Now we are going to look at, at the estrogen. Okay, what is estrogen? Estrogen uh, mainly synthesized by ovary, placenta, but in a small amount, testis and adrenal cortex. The starting material for estrogen is cholesterol. Endosthenidion or testosterone is the immediate precursor. And main endogenous for estrogen are uh, estradiol, uh, estron, and also estriol. Okay, this diagram shows the chemical structure of the 17 beta estradiol, estron, and also estriol. The physiological effect of estrogen, it can develop the female sexual organs. It also develops the female secondary sex characteristic and also to control the menstrual cycle. For clinical uses of estrogen, it is used in a hormone replacement therapy, especially in postmenopausal hormone therapy. Estrogen also been used in a contraception where the combination of estrogen and progesterone in the form of a oral, vagina, or also transdermal. Other uses of the estrogen uh, with the combination of progesterone, which it can stimulate the development of secondary characteristic, and this repl replacement therapy for premature menopause or premature ovarian failure. Hormone replacement therapy has been used for menopause period where it is the end of the woman's menstrual cycle. Any of the changes a woman go through just before or after she stop having period, making the end of her reproductive years. Usually it happens from 50 years old onwards or in range between 45 years to 55 years. The mean age of uh, monopause in Asia around uh, 50.7 years, but it uh, also can occur in some uh, instance, women with a family history in early monopause, smokers, and those who have undergone chemotherapy or radiotherapy. The stages of monopause uh, include the uh, four stages, like a premature, which is in women below 40 years old, early in women uh, between 50 to 59 years old, late in a woman uh, 60 years old and above, and lastly, it could be due to a surgical and medical monopause. Sign and symptom of menopause, it can be a musculoskeletal like a joint and muscle pain, urogenital where the vaginal dryness and itchiness can happen, dysphoria, urinary frequency or urgency. Uh, it also can uh, show a symptom of mood changes where irritability, 
depressed, sleep disturbance, and reduce the concentration. Uh, it also can show the symptom of sexual difficulties, vasomotor like a hot flushes, and also night sweat. Okay, this diagram shows the symptom and sign of the monopause. HRT basically is a treatment where the loss or decreasing hormone in the body are being replaced. Uh, with monopause, the estrogen hormone get reduced and is replaced in small amount where just enough to get everything working well again. If a woman still have the uterus, progestin has to be added to minimize the problem such as bleeding or thickening of the lining of the uterus. This means that if a woman has had her uterus taken out from some reason, she only needs estrogen hormone replacement therapy, which is much lower than uh, for contraception. Okay, these are the examples for the HRT agent like Estradol 17 beta, Tibolon, and Reloxifen. In the root of administration, it can be in form of oral, transdermal, such as a patch, gel, implant, and also vagina. Okay, how the hormone replacement therapy works? Okay, this diagram for the first diagram it shows that how the healthy bone cells are uh, conditioned, where the hormones and minerals okay, uh, works together be in the bones. Okay. When, okay, the second diagram, when a lack of hormones act on the bone cells, okay, the mineral, especially calcium, are not retained in the bone structure to build the strength of the out layer and it is waste away. So means that the minerals like a calcium will leak out okay, due to the low level of the hormone. Okay, when okay, the HRT being given, the additional hormones okay, lock on to the receptor of the cells and repair imbalance between mineral absorbed and mineral returns to the bloodstream. When the HRT is given, Okay, means that the hormone in a uh, hormone level is raised, so mineral like a calcium can be retained in the bone cell. The adverse effect of the estrogen it can be the nausea, vomiting, headache, breast tenderness, thromboembolism, myocardial infection breast and endometrial cancer, hypertension, and also edema. Okay, what is the anti-estrogen? Anti-estrogen is a class of estrogen-related compound that displays selective agonists and antagonists for estrogen receptor depending on the tissue type. It is no steroidal compound that bind to estrogen receptor which can cause the estrogeny or anti-estrogeny effect. Example for the anti-estrogen, it could be tamoxifen, torimifen, reloxifen, clomifen, and also ospimifen. Okay, this anti-estrogen also called as a SERMS, which is a selective estrogen receptor modulators. The pharmacokinetic for anti-estrogen, it can be rapidly absorbed after oral administration, metabolized by cytochrome B450 enzyme, and also excreted through bile into fecus. Thermosifen is used for a metastatic breast cancer, Adjuvant therapy for mastectomy or radiation for breast cancer. The adverse effect it can be hot flashes, 
nausea, vomiting, menstrual irregularities, virginability, endometrial hyperplasia, and also tumor. For relative fern, it is used for prevention and treatment of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. And the adverse effect, it could be hot flashes, leg cramp, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and also retinal vein thrombosis. Next is the clomiphene which is, is used for the uh, treatment of uh, infertility. And the uh, adverse effect, it, well, but it depends on the dose related. Okay, it can cause the headache, nausea, vasomotor motor pressures, visual disturbance, and also over enlargement. Next is the thorimifen. It is used for breast cancer, but does not increase the risk of endometrial cancer. The adverse effect, it could be the hot flashes, sweating, nausea, dizziness, fatigue, headache, skin discoloration, increase the weight, insomnia, constipation, vomit, uh, vomiting, uh, vertigo, pruritis, abnormal vision, asthenia, depression, loss of appetite, and also endometrial changes. Okay, lastly is the ospermifen. It's used for dyspareunia related to monopausal, which is uh, painful during the sexual intercourse and vaginal dryness in postmenopausal women. The adverse effect, it could be the hot flushes, vaginal discharge, muscle spam, and also sweating. Okay, guys, we will continue later with Project Stogen.